All right, so Blizzard did a thing. They've released the basic details of a little competition they're having for hardcore Diablo 4 players. They published a tweet, and the tweet reads like this. Think you can cheat death? Reach level 100 on hardcore mode and tweet hashtag Diablo 4 hardcore with proof to have your username immortalized on a statue of Lilith. Offer limited to first 1,000. Restrictions apply. I think a lot of people are upset about this. Well, if, if you read Reddit anyway and base your opinions off that. And I don't think they even really know why. Um, if you kind of go into the restrictions here, let's actually read the terms of this. It's kind of weird, to be honest with you. I don't think anyone knows what the hell they're even playing for. So it's actually a physical statue um, engraved into a physical statue of Blizzard's choice. Your name will be engraved into that. Blizzard will contact the thousand eligible individuals who have successfully claimed the offer to confirm via Twitter DM. Confirm what? Confirm that their name is going to be on a physical statue? Where? Where is this statue? Who gets this statue? Is it going to be a statue in, in the lobby of Blizzard's headquarters or something? Are they going to send me a statue? Can I buy the statue? Like, I don't even know what the fuck I'm playing for here. So we don't really know what we're playing for, but of course people are upset. Um, the main argument is that all the creators that have had early access to the game that are literally playing the full version of the game and have made it to level 100 already, they obviously have a huge advantage, which, which they do. I, I definitely agree that they have an advantage, but does it really matter? Is there enough of them to really matter? Uh, out of the 1,000 spots that are available for this physical statue that we don't know where it's going to be or if we're even going to see it ourselves ever in our life, is there enough of them that it's going to impact those 1,000 spots? Was there maybe 50 of them? 100? 20? How many of them are going to know life it for 100 straight hours in order to be one of the first 1,000? I really don't think it's that big of a deal. If it was like a top 10 thing, then fuck yeah, I'd be... I'd be choked. I mean, these these guys, they're going to be top 10. But given the fact there's a thousand spots, I don't think it's that big of a deal currently. But anyway, here, here's a tweet from Rod Ferguson. It's actually a reply to a question that someone asked him. And and Rod, if you don't know, uh, he's the GM of all things Diablo at Blizzard. This, he's the man, okay? This is, this is the big boss here. This is the man. So Someone asked him, can we talk about those same creators competing in the race event you guys announced? This gives an extreme unfair advantage. And he replies with kind of a, well, dog shit take, to be honest. Um, How does deleting all their progress and making them start at the same time as everyone else give them an unfair advantage? Rod, uh, what do we say here, buddy? Uh, Come on. It's, It's common sense, is it not? Of course they have an advantage. It's they've played the game in its entirety. They know where to go, where not to go, what builds really worked for them, what didn't, uh, how to kill bosses, what boss is coming up. Like, there's just so many advantages, obviously, to having already played the game. Even if you wipe their whole character, they're going to be faster in general. So obviously, this is just a, a bad take by Rod. He should have not said anything at all. And it's really put a, a black spot on on the launch here now a lot of people are, are against him and, and they're, they're pissed off and triggered by this whole thing and rightfully so i think the tweet is bad the actual competition is whatever i think it's fine but this tweet ugh, just ugh. to add to the whole controversy with the creators having a, an advantage you also have things like well what if there's an exp exploit that they missed that's going to go with the with the game when it launches or people are all bitching about the hardcore things where oh the sorceresses uh have flame shield or you have the death potions and hardcore isn't even hardcore anymore blah 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 all this shit i mean guys you're not playing for money here you're not playing for free stuff nothing your name's going to be scribbled on a statue somewhere so i mean just chill out you were going to play the game anyway without this whole little statue thing so I really don't think it's a big deal. I get why people are upset. I think they should just kind of think logically for a minute here and just forget this thing even exists if it bothers them that much. So yeah, I'm I'm indirectly participating 
in this competition or race or whatever the hell you want to call it because I plan on playing hardcore mode anyway. If, if, if you've seen my other videos, which you, sh you should, I've been talking about it for a while now. I want to play hardcore. I want to play as a necromancer. I'm going to be the slowest class because we all know necros are the slowest class. They have no mobility skills. And it's a race to level 100. So I, I have a slim chance of actually making it, even if I play all day. But that's kind of what motivates me a bit. Now this this whole little competition is, is an extra piece where, oh, wouldn't that be cool if I did make top 1,000 and I'm playing a Necromancer? So, you know, whatever. It's it's supposed to be fun. That's the whole point. And, and for me, it'll just be an extra incentive and it will be fun. So I'm not shook by it. And hopefully you know they can clear some of this stuff up and, and maybe other people won't be as upset you know we don't want all this negativity coming into this big game launch that we're all excited for you, if if you weren't excited you wouldn't be bitching because you wouldn't care but obviously you care so you're bitching so i don't know if that makes sense whether there's drama or not doesn't phase me at all i'm just going to keep doing my thing Starting on launch day, you're going to see a lot of new content uh, on my channel. I just kind of want to share things. Uh, you know, if I find a cool mount, I'll show you how to get it, where I got it. If, you know, find a secret boss or some cool encounter, whatever. I get some crazy drops or something like that. I'll post a video of it. Of course, there won't be any spoilers in the thumbnail or the title or anything like that. I fucking hate when people spoil shit. But yeah, it obviously will be in the video. So I'll, I'll, I'll mark it and, and watch at your own risk. And I plan on each day just sort of uh, maybe releasing a, a quick and concise kind of like daily report on, you know, where I progressed to in hardcore, whether I survived or not, um, show a few highlights, things like that, just kind of share the journey, not only for my own, just records of it all, but, you know, some of my friends want to see that won't be playing the game or I just think it's kind of a cool little thing to do. So, you know, and th this race thing kind of spices that up a little bit. So yeah, you're gonna see a lot more videos coming soon and, and it's just gonna be fun. Just forget about this stuff and let's just have fun guys. That's, that's all it is in the end. All right, look, so I just wanna thank everyone for their support so far. The journey's just getting started here basically. This whole YouTube thing has been a hell of a lot of fun. Uh, I mean, I even made a fucking Twitter account now. I hate Twitter, but I need to get with the times, I guess. But yo, this will be my last video until the game launches. I wish everybody the best of luck. I hope you have a blast just killing everything on the screen and saving the world or whatever we're going to do. And let me know what you think. Do you agree? Do you disagree? Are you going to be playing hardcore? Do you care about the content creators getting an advantage? Do you care about Rod's stupid ass tweet? Let me know. Thank you so much for watching. Take care, everybody.